Hi, welcome to Educator.com. In today's lesson, we're going to actually be going over what is necessary to go live. And um, some basic steps that we have here is just learning how to upload files with the FTP server, um, uh, which stands for uh, File Transfer Protocol, and learning what changes need to be made to the administration files uh, before you go live. I kind of spoke a little bit about this before in previous ones. We're going to finish up and just kind of go back over it again uh, as a refresher. Okay, so what needs to be done is um, we're going to go through uh, the website here that I already pulled up some links on some, some source that you can get some FTP. And I'm going to go over uh, some software um, and as well as go over what you can use um, in, if you're using a Windows uh, platform. Um, there's a built-in FTP that you can actually use um, that's just as easy. Um, without having to buy any software or downloading any software. <clears throat> so here uh, is a site here for WS underscore FTP. It's a, it's a program that you can use. Um, you use them, like, especially if you're having, uh, if you have a Mac, you're going to use it for uh, a program like this to, to go through. Now, I pulled up um, this here as um, a source. If you go through it, it will... Um, Go to the actual link. It'll actually break down what FTP is, more specifically what it's going to do. Um, I actually went ahead and um, found another um, source here that you can go through. Uh, FileZilla, just Google it. It will tell you that it, uh, it's a free download. And I'm going to pull up some screenshots because most FTPs are kind of similar. Um, they're not that, that much different. Um, so I'm going to pull up some screenshots here to kind of go over what um, an FTP actually looks like as far as program. And then we'll go into the Windows um, side of it. So here um, is just something similar here that when the program opens up in Fire, uh, FileZilla, you're going to basically, um, this is like where your files are living on your system. So like where you have your, um, your HT docs, if you have set up MAMP or, or if you're in Windows, you're going to be in a different uh, folder directory. You are basically going to upload all those files to a server that you have. And we talked about before having, um, you know, uh, you know, Gearhost or, or whatever these other um, servers that you have, or if you have your own, um, that would actually be even easier if you upload it to your own server, um, live server. But if you have something, you're, some host are using, again, like Gearhost or GoDaddy.com, whatever, this, you're going to connect to it. And you're going to have that information. You don't really want to give that information out to anybody. Um, so that's why I'm not, I'm not going to really put one in because uh, I can't use uh, the dummy server to actually do that. But here's some screenshots of what it does look like and um, how files transfer over. So initially, you're going to go in to the site manager, and, and here's where you're going to input um, your stuff here, your, lo your login type, if it's just a normal one. You're going to put in your username that you set up with whatever server provider you go with, and then the password, um, and then any other uh, account information that you might have. And basically, what you're going to do is you're going to have to connect to it first, then you kind of like drag and, uh, or select all the files that you want, and basically, you're going to hit... Um, uh, a button along the lines of like uh, transferring. So let's see here. Uh, that's not it here. We're going to go, um, let's pull up some screenshots to be easier to show. It's right here. Now it's language settings. Um, site manager connect. Uh, yeah. There we go. So here, You'll be able to go in and select it. This is actually a screenshot of the Mac version. Um, same software, just Mac version. But basically, you're going to go through it, and you're going to go ahead and transfer. Uh, these hotkeys are here are going to be some of the transfer keys to go ahead and send it. Um, it's going to do its thing. It's going to depending on how big your site is, it's going to it's going to go for it. Make sure you only have um, your actual website files in there. Don't put like. Um, I tend, to, I tend to keep all my files together, like um, my Photoshop files, my Illustrator files that I might be using. You definitely don't want to keep those in there because those are really those can be a lot of memory. Um, and it's going to take that much longer to get through. Most of your files that you use, um, PHP files or HTML files and CSS files are very small. Um, the only large thing you're going to be uploading is images, depending on how many you actually have. But relatively, it should actually load pretty quick. Just keep those big files out of there. Again, you, when you select everything and it's going to transfer over, you're going to get this percentage bar here. Once it's complete, it's going to give you a little message up here. Um, you know, it's complete. 
then you'll be able to go into your, um, if you have a domain name or, where, or however you connect to your server, you'll be able to actually go there and uh, connect to it. And your website should be uploaded uh, fairly quickly. So pretty simple. The other thing here is, um, let me back out of this real quick, is that, again, this is a, fr a free FTP. You can definitely pay for some of them, but you know it's up to you if you want. They have, again, when you tell me pay for something, a little bit more bells and whistles, a little bit more um, usability that it can connect to uh, with a lot, a lot of different things, but I, I've never really paid for one. I just actually use the free ones um, or use uh, Windows, which we'll go to next. So 